getting the hottest ticket in town. The Bama LSU football game just days away. And how do you know if your ticket is the real deal? Experts say there are some extra precautions you need to take if you want a first-hand look at the monumental matchup. WVUA's Travis Leader has more. The UA ticket office says beware of scammers. It's always a concern for a game like this, and what we do is just try and advise people to be on the lookout on game day for anything that is going to look a little bit too good to be true. Basantini says there are some things you can do to determine if the ticket is real or fake. Okay, so on the back of the ticket stock, there's, a, there's an A logo that's embedded into the, the uh, material of the ticket. You could take a coin and scratch this off, and you'll see that the A logo appears here. It'll say secure and authentic within the, the foil, and this is trademarked for our ticket stock. You see many people holding up their tickets trying to sell them outside the stadium, but there are a few things you need to look at before you know that person is legit. We require that anyone selling tickets wear this type of ID tag, which also says City of Tuscaloosa, the year in which they bought the uh, license, and it has some basic information about them on there. And they have to wear this at all times when they're selling tickets. There are also other precautions you can take when buying off the street. So when you're talking to the person you're buying from, you know, make sure you get their name, their phone number, their driver's license number. You know, if they're selling you a true ticket, then they're going to give you all that information and stand by the product they're giving you. Cardin also recommends to buy well in advance of the game to avoid the scammers. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Travis Leader, WVUA News. And if you have any questions about the authenticity of your tickets, you can stop by Coleman Coliseum between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. through Friday. And on game day, go to Bryant-Denny Stadium, gate 3 or 32. Officials will be available at the gates to examine any tickets. And while everybody is getting ready for the Bama LSU game this weekend, one family is remembering the national championship Bama won back in 09. They're making something very special for the Sabins. WVA's Lindsay Price has her story. Stitch by stitch, piece by piece, hours of work and dedication. That's how Linda Stacks and her daughter Susan Dockery turned their Crimson Pride into a quilt dedicated to the Crimson Tide. We wanted to make this quilt for Coach Saban because it was the first championship he'd won for Alabama. They say the idea for the design came together easily, but turning it into reality required a little creative thinking. We put our minds together to draw out a plan of what we want. She photocopied her hands and then we just took a football shape and then we just went to work. It just zipped right up. It just came out real, real perfect, I think. Everything goes with, with football, the jerseys, the helmets, and naturally the A's for Alabama. So it, um, the elephant for Big Al, so it all goes together. As for giving it to the Sabins, they say they are working on it, but they know he is a busy man. We hope that we would be able to meet with him and give it to him in person. I hope and hope that he would accept it, you know, with all the hard work that we put into it. They receive a, a homemade quilt. I mean, it's from our heart, you know, we spent several days on it, but uh, it's, you know, we think maybe they would appreciate one. Stacks and Dockery say they hope their gift from the heart will soon be hanging in the Sabins' home. In Tuscaloosa County, Lindsay Price, WVUA News. Together, the women have made 156 quilts within a year and a half. And here's the neat thing. They give most of those away to people in need. Another big competition will be brewing on Saturday. This one is the Louisa Bama Gumbo Bowl. Alabama football legend Bob Baumhauer and other famous chefs are joining together to cook up the world's largest pot of gumbo. Their goal to feed around 10,000 people. Organizers say they'll use about 750 pounds of shrimp, 400 pounds of catfish, and 200 pounds of alligator. This will all take place outside the Ferguson Center. One bowl will set you back about five bucks. The proceeds will go toward tornado relief. For more information, just go to WVUATV.com and click on numbers and links.
And before the big game this weekend between LSU and Bama, we invite you to spend your Saturday morning with us right here, WVOA TV. We'll get things started first thing Saturday at 8 a.m. with Crimson Tide kickoff presented by Alpha Insurance featuring WVOA's Gary Harris and John Huddleston. Then from 9 until 10, Nick Saban's show, Hey Coach. Then at 10, Crimson Cover. That's followed by the Iron Bowl Hour at 1030. At 11 o'clock, Crimson Tide this week. And all this right here on WVUA TV. And WVUA is covering Tuscaloosa County, where the community of Holt will soon be seeing green, thanks to a new grant. The Tom Bigby Research Council and Development is giving the community of Holt an $8,000 grant. Sean Faulkner with Holt in Action says the money will go toward the greening of Holt. Faulkner says the program will promote rebuilding, reshaping, and revitalization of the community devastated by the April 27 tornado. And this is the Holt community's first grant. And Faulkner says he hopes that this will bring more positive change to Holt in the future. It's a, a shot in the arm, if you will, really encouragement, uh, boost uh, uh, in morale to keep us moving and, and hopefully to uh, apply for more grants and get more funding for our community. And for more information on how to become involved with Rebuilding Holt, just go to WVUATV.com and click on Numbers and Links.